My name is Yavor. Uh, I'm here on behalf of Kales Group. Um, I wonder actually uh, how many of you know who Kales Group are? Not many, not many, come on. Kales Group are the makers uh, of V-Ray, and since last year, we're also the makers of Corona, uh, the two renderers that, that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, I'm really excited to be here today because uh, we have a couple of great uh, pieces of news to share with you. Um, and uh, I can't wait to, to kind of open up the, the hood uh, and share with you what's been going on over the past months and, and, and year. First, I'd like to talk about V-Ray. But uh, for that, I would like to ask for some help from our good friend Fabio Palvelli, who I'm sure a lot of you know from uh, his work on, uh, on V-Ray. Fabio, come on up. Can you guys hear me? So I'm Italian. That is enough. I shouldn't use a microphone, because otherwise I'm going to damage your hearing. How are you guys? Come on. Let's hear it. I hate when people fall asleep on me. All right, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Fabio Palvelli. I'm one of the founders of the D2 conference in Vienna, which is the biggest conference for architecture visualization. I'm also a YouTuber. I make YouTube videos where I talk about the business side of doing 3D. And you should su subscribe, because my wife said that she's going to get pregnant when I hit 1 million subscribers. It's true. <laughs> and I'm also a 3D artist. I've been doing visualizations for about 10 years. I worked with Cinema 4D and uh, V-Ray because I really think that this is probably one of the best uh, combinations. You know, Cinema is a very easy to use tool. And V-Ray, with very little training, allow me to visualize very complex, very big scenes uh, very easily. Anyway, the fate brought me to work for V-Ray for Cinema 4D in uh, Vienna. Now, developing software is a very complex task. But when we released V-Ray 3.4 and then 3.6, we started sort of like a small revolution in, uh, in the field of archives. And we were very motivated to continue doing so. And to a certain point, to a certain extent, we realized that if we wanted to continue walking in that direction, you know, developing and supporting customers, we needed to ask the big guys to bring out the big guns. And I'm referring to the guys at Chaos Group. Well. We have been keeping a secret from you for quite a while. <laughs> Yavor? All right, so thanks, Fabio. Uh, what we can help, uh, what we can wait to share with you is that as of today, V-Ray for Cinema 4D <laughs> will be. Come on, come on, let's <laughs> hear it, come on! We're really excited uh, to take over the product development, uh, the sales and distribution and support uh, for V-Ray for Cinema 4D. But before I tell you what all of this means going forward, I'd like to give credit where credit is due and uh, invite Stefan Laub on stage and thank him and his team for bringing the product to where it is today. Stefan. Thanks. Thanks, Yavor. Thanks, Fabio. Uh, I make it short. Most had been said already. Uh, maybe a very short history, we started this 12 years ago. Uh, we are Cinema 4D users actually ourselves and we wanted this engine urgently on Cinema 4D at that time, but nobody uh, at that time could or wanted to do it or was brave enough to do it. Uh, so we did it ourselves. Thanks to Chaos Group for that, Thank by the you. way. <laughs> and we put a lot of effort and love in this product was not always easy, but we brought it to 3.6. And this leads to the point where there's the logic transition. And we are very happy that Kiosk Group is willing to do the lead on the project now yeah. and give us the very, very best V-Ray for Cinema 4D ever, I hope. Yeah. All right. So officially, Thank you, Stefan. now yeah. it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
great. Um, I forgot to mention that at Kales Group, I actually take care of our new products and our strategic partnerships. Uh, and in that capacity, I've been working a lot with Stefan and his team and, and our team now to think about what the next steps for Cinema 4D will be. Um, and as a, as a first step, we thought that uh, it's very important for us to bring out a new release. As of today, there is V-Ray for Cinema 4D 3.7. Uh, and the focus there has been mostly on introducing a little bit of stability as well as shifting the licensing mechanism. Now, this is a necessary step for us to be able to take over things like licensing, support, uh, build distribution, and so on. It's uh, Cinema 4D R20 compatible, as well as R18, R19 as well. And it's available today. today. You can already go to the Kales Group webpage uh, and download the builds there. By the way, you'll also find that a lot of other resources have been made available as of today. More importantly, going forward, we'll be focusing on making V-Ray uh, a great product uh, and making it um, a, a high-end VFX and motion graphics oriented renderer. In the, sh in the near term, in the short term, you should uh, look out for updates, fixes uh, of bugs, uh, and a lot of helpful content that we're going to try to put out there for you so that you can get uh, learning resources uh, and a lot of ideas. An example of what you could, can expect in the short term are things like V-Ray Cloud. Some of you may have heard about our uh, cloud rendering service, which is currently in public beta. And uh, a lot of customers are already enjoying uh, the, the beta program, and we're getting great feedback. And in, as a matter of fact, you, you already can use it with V-Ray for Cinema 4D through a, um, a slightly different process. It's not fully integrated into the product, but it's something that will come relatively soon. We don't have a, a date for the next major release yet, uh, but uh, we're working very hard to bring that as soon as possible. And as that goes on, please don't be shy. Reach out to us. There's a lot of channels that I'm going to talk about. And tell us what's important for you, because we want to hear from you. In terms of ex existing customers, we've set up a free migration program. This means that everybody who owns V-Ray for Cinema 4D today, version 3.6 or earlier, doesn't matter, they're entitled to a free copy of V-Ray 3.7 for Cinema 4D. <laughs> uh, all of your licenses will be matched one for one, both workstation and DR node licenses. Uh, specifically, DR node licenses will be matched with Cinema 4D uh, spe uh, specific rendering licenses. What this license will give you is all free updates for the, next, for the entire next year, for the duration of 2019 up to January 15, 2020. Uh, the program will be open until March 15. So if you want to take advantage of it, do it now or before March 15, 2019, and we'll match all of your licenses with a, with a new version. All of the existing licenses that you own, obviously, will remain valid, uh, as, and they will work as they always have. In terms of pricing and licensing, we'll be making some changes as well. The product will, for new, this is for new purchases. Again, I want to underline the fact that the, uh, the migration program is free for a whole year. For new purchases, we will be offering the product on an annual and monthly basis at these price points. Uh, and a license will include a, a UI license and a render license. Those render licenses will be universal, so they will work across V-Ray products. And if you're someone who owns render nodes and they, you've purchased them from Kales Group before, you'll be able to use them with V-Ray for Cinema 4D. In terms of maintenance and support, we will continue to support our customers with user-related questions, with uh, technical questions about how the product works, regardless of version. However, when it comes to bug reports, when it comes to updates or replacing licenses, those will be able to take care only in the context of 3.7 and beyond. And this is the version and the code base that we're going to have and, and develop going forward. So this is where we're going to address everything new. Uh, in terms of resources, there's a new official forum at kalesgroup.com. And for support, you can take advantage of the resources 
uh, at kelsgroup.com as well. There's a lot of uh, frequently asked questions. There's, you can reach out directly to our support through there. But of course, that's not everything. We're very excited about V-Ray, but there's something else that we're really excited to share today, and that's that today we make the release of Beta 2 for Corona for Cinema 4D. This renderer has been around uh, in beta mode for about a year, and we have had a, a lot of interest in it. We've seen more than 40,000 activations for it. The beta is available today for download, and its first commercial release is tracking well for January 2019. So you should go out and try it. <laughs> There's a lot to be excited about when it comes to Corona. It's uh, very tightly integrated uh, with Cinema 4D. It has a highly interactive um, IPR mode, uh, which helps for, for using it uh, interactively and, and having more efficient workflows. It has a powerful material editor, and it comes with the popular light mix and image editor tools. It supports native C4D shaders and lights. Uh, and also has scene conversion directly from V-Ray, so there's some interoperability there for you. It also works with Team Render. Lots of great features uh, now available to, to you guys as well. I mean, it's, it's out there today. You can go to the web page and download it and, and give it a shot. And again, don't be shy. Tell us what you like, what you want to improve there as well. We're really excited that we're sort of stepping onto the stage here with two products, V-Ray on one side and Corona on the other side. Some of you may wonder, how are they going to work together? What's the interoperability going to be? Who's uh, V-Ray for? Who's Corona for? Uh, this is something that we continue to think about, of course, and we welcome your feedback. But as I said in the beginning, um, we'll continue to develop V-Ray as a high-end VFX motion graphics renderer and Corona as an easy-to-use design-oriented uh, renderer. So. That's kind of what I wanted to share. I really want to thank uh, our friends at Maxon for having us here and giving us an opportunity to talk to you directly about this stuff. I think we have a little bit of time, so I am uh, available to take some questions if you have them now or happy to speak with you later uh, as well. <laughs>